We're going to be performing an exercise, an exercise for the shoulders, um, an exercise for the deltoid. The deltoid stretching exercise, and it's a great way to keep the shoulders limber, to keep the shoulders loose, help you recover from certain injuries or any um, discomforts that you feel in the shoulder area. So the way this is going to be performed, it can be done sitting down, it can be done standing up. I'm, for, this, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be standing up. Um, and all you want to do is A, make sure your back is straight, your core is tucked in, and then bring one elbow across your body and then catch it with the opposite arm. The top arm, you can keep your, your fingers loose, you can keep it in a fist, whatever's more comfortable for you. Uh, but from this position, you want to make sure that the, the arm that's on top, which will be the, the deltoid, the shoulder that's going to be stretched, needs to be in a almost 90 degree angle and parallel to the ground. If you need help keeping it parallel to the ground, you can use a mirror just to make sure that you're doing this in the correct way. And you can regulate it by using the supporting arm to either lift the arm that's being stretched higher up or lower it. You can keep the supporting arm, um, arm's elbow close to your body. And then you shouldn't be really using too much force or too much power with that supporting arm. It's just there really to hold the other arm in place, the arm that's being stretched, the shoulder that's being stretched in place. And then in order to regulate it and increase the intensity of the stretch, when you feel ready, if you feel flexible enough, if you feel strong enough to slightly raise the elbow of the supporting arm, which will at the same time raise the elbow of the arm that's being stretched, the shoulder that's being stretched. And you can continue either raising that elbow, but again, you don't want to go too high then parallel, then a 90 degree angle and parallel to the ground. The second way to regulate the stretch and increase the intensity would actually be to pull the arm closer to your chest. And almost imagine you're pulling it away from you behind your body. By doing so, you will be really demanding more out of your deltoid and you will feel that stretch um, and you will feel that increase of intensity of that stretch. Performing this exercise, now I'll do it on the other side and from a slightly different angle is going to be a great way really just to keep your, your, your arms limber, your shoulders loose and your shoulders flexible. It's a great way to maybe even warm up your shoulders before doing a workout. I always add a few of these. Maybe after a workout, I will hold this position. I'll hold this stretch for maybe 20, 30 seconds. Sometimes I'll do two sets of it. Uh, before a workout, I'll usually maybe just do a few uh, quick um, movements, some dynamic stretching, maybe one or two seconds each side, a couple repetitions each, each side, and that helps me warm up my shoulders, maybe even cool down my shoulders, help them recover from a certain maybe difficult workout or a, um, a, um, an upper body workout that I was maybe in, investing a lot of time into my shoulders. So you want to keep your shoulders flexible, you want to keep them uh, powerful and you want to keep them loose and you want to be warm before performing any difficult exercises which involve the upper body and when you involve the upper body your shoulders are usually involved. Um, so use this exercise, see where you can add it into your uh, weekly routine of workouts and you will see how it has a real positive effect um, on the flexibility and on the power um, of your shoulders and, uh, and on your deltoid muscles.